One of the most common questions that I get asked is where should I develop and manufacture my new electronic hardware product? Well, I'm going to break this uh, down into two separate questions. So first I'll answer where should you develop your product? Well, development in the United States or locally, if you're uh, in another country, is, is typically the fastest uh, approach, but it it's also tends to be the most expensive. De whereas development in Asia is, is usually a little slower, um, but it's cheaper. Um, the reason it's slower is there's uh, additional uh, communication delays, uh, shipping delays, and just the, the time difference, uh, if you're located in the U.S. communicating with China, uh, tends to, to slow down the development process. Um, however, U.S. development um, is often just not an affordable option for entrepreneurs uh, with the limited budgets. So in, in those cases, uh, you know, one option you may consider is using uh, de Canadian developers. Um, by hiring developers in Canada, um, you will typically get a, a significantly lower rate than you will with the U.S. developer, but you still have uh, most of the same advantages as hiring a U.S.-based developer. Uh, there's uh, the shipping delays and time difference is much smaller, so uh, going with uh, Canada developers t tends to be uh, pretty equivalent to uh, going with uh, U.S. developers. Another option that you may consider for some products is to find a manufacturer, um, typically a, you know, a, a Chinese manufacturer, that already makes a product similar to yours. Um, in that case, you may be able to hire them to do the, the full development, prototyping, and setting up manufacturing. And many times this will be uh, one of the lowest cost routes that you can go for development. However, um, it's, it's going to require some management to, to make sure that, that you get a, a, the, the quality of product that you're looking for. Um, if you don't have the skills, uh, the technical skills specifically, to manage the development of your product, then I would recommend that you uh, most likely go with a design firm. Um, this is because a design firm will have multiple engineers, they'll have project managers that will manage uh, the integration of all the various pieces, uh, whether that be the electronics design, uh, programming, the enclosure design, uh, you know, debug and testing. It, it's all done under uh, one, uh, one roof and one project manager. This also typically uh, will be the fastest route to market. Um, so if, as long as you, um, if you don't have the skills to manage development or if time to market is really critical for your product, then I, I would consider going with the design firm. Whereas if you have the technical skills uh, to comfortably manage the overall development of your product, then you can typically save considerable money uh, by going the, the freelancer route. Um, the, the downside of going with freelancers is you have to manage the development and it, it typically will not be the fastest route to market, but it will be typically the lowest cost uh, route to develop your product. So next I'm going to answer the second question, which is where should you manufacture your product? Well, I always recommend that at least for the first few units, um, by few, you know, I typically mean 100 units, you know, or less, or maybe a couple hundred units at the most, uh, would be for you to do the assembly and testing of those first, uh, you know, that first production, small production run. This will allow you to optimize the assembly and testing process. Um, the next stage, you know, once you, you kind of get past just doing a, you know, a few dozen or a hundred or a couple hundred units, the next step uh, is what I call sort of the initial manufacturing or low volume manufacturing. So this is uh, for quantities uh, less than 10,000 units is kind of the cutoff. Um, in this case, I would, you know, I would recommend going with a U.S. or can Canadian um, or a local uh, manufacturer. The advantage of going with uh, keeping manufacturing uh, in the U.S. Or, or local to you for these, this initial production run is it allows you to more closely and quickly monitor the product quality. Um, it just, it's much easier for you to, to visit the factory, 
um, and just monitor the the early quality of your product at least until you get a more stable uh, quality testing program set up. And then finally, once you've exceeded about 10,000 units, then it's time to consider transitioning to China. But it's always best to start off initially uh, local to you for manufacturing, if at all possible, if you have manufacturing facilities in your country. And this will allow you to, to work out all the little uh, bugs of manufacturing and to optimize the process before you transition to China for manufacturing. And typically, China is best for doing high volume production.